Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back with Let's Play Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of Elusive Age on the PC. Last time, we went around the world after beating the game and checked out how everyone is doing now that uh, Mortigan is gone for good. And everyone was throwing parties, they were happy, and all sorts of other good stuff. So, if they're happy, I'm happy. Uh, but there is a couple loose ends for us to check up on now that we've be in the main game. Uh, actually, just the one loose end, so let's go. Like I said previously, uh, we are not done with the game yet. We've still got plenty to do, so don't you worry your little heads off there. So, in order to go into the next portion of the game here, we are going to want to head over to here into the Dundersill region, and our goal is going to be that, um, that little area, let's see if I can zoom in, right over here, the Mysterious Ruins, which were not there previously, so yeah, we want to check that out, and that'll be our ticket into the third and final act of the game, which could be considered post-game, or it could just be considered the next stage of the game. It's a little bit of both, actually. So, yeah. Kitty, 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 kitty. Goodbye, everybody. How is our experience? I, I highly doubt we're going to get to uh, a level from running anything over here, but I'm just curious. Just curious. Alright, so yeah, we want to head over here. This looks a mite familiar. Aye, it's these funny wee buildings. I've seen them before. Yes, there's no mistaking it. It looks just like the floating island where we met the Watcher, doesn't it? Let's go and take a closer look. Who knows? We might find something interesting. Buildings that look like the Watcher area. Jade, what's up? Let's take a closer look at all this stuff. Who knows what we might find? Well, let's go. Let's go. Everyone's over there. Uh, is there anybody hanging out in here? Ah, Rab. I was just having a wee nose around when I found a dusty old tome that caught my attention. Remember what we saw back in the Temple of Dawn? When you channeled the power of the seedlings and saw those scenes from Erdwin's life? It looks to me like this book is about those same events. What would something like that be doing lying around an old room like this? Hmm. I'm surprised he's not telling us uh, more about what's in the book, because that'd be useful information, but oh well. Oh well indeed. What do we got over here? It's a pot. I, I honestly thought it was a dead watcher for a minute because it's got the same body shape because they are shaped like pots. At least the one that we saw is. Is that meant to be art? It just looks like some weird old guy with a funny face to me. Well, I didn't even notice you. I was just looking at the, uh, the pot down there. Isn't it just amazing, honey? The way it defies artistic convention to make such a bold statement. All the stuff around here is so unique. Whoever made it was a genius. Such an eye for shape and form. Where is... Oh, there's, there's Serena. I feel like we're missing somebody, but I don't think we are. One, two, three, four... Oh, uh... No, I guess... Nah. For some reason I thought we were missing somebody. Her Highness is correct. This looks like the place where we met the Watcher. But I have never heard of ruins like these in this area. This painting... 
It's fascinating. It really draws you in, doesn't it? me of something. Ah, of course. I've been reading a book they say was written by the Watchers of late. Let me see if I can find the right part. Spirits of lost time. Beings born from the land. Beings who control time. Spirits of lost time. Could they be these figures in the painting? According to the book, they guard the sacred light that controls the flow of time. And when that light burns bright enough, even those who are lost to eternity can be restored. Restored how, exactly? You mean like, brought back to life? Wait, if that was true, then maybe... Well, just maybe... Huh? Think about it. We lost someone to eternity, didn't we? Someone we'd love to see again. Hmm. Hmm. Veronica. Veronica! Do you really think we could... bring her back? Well, what else does it say about this light? Light lives in Tower's heart. Sacred Tower. Tower of lost time. Watchers guard Wheel of Time. Key to Tower. Key to Time. Key brings spirits. Sets wheels in motion. Hmm. So if we had the Wheel of Time, we might... We might really be able to... <sighs> what have we got to lose? If there's even a chance, we have to try, right? <clears throat> Eric's right. No matter how unlikely it is, if it might be our chance to see her again, we simply have to try. Mm. But the Watchers are all gone, right? So how do we find this wheel thingy? This was once one of their islands, wasn't it? And I'd say that hole in the wall up there was pretty wheel-like. I reckon we could do worse than start our search right here, you know. There's a way through up there. Let's go poke around some more, shall we? <clears throat> okay, so we're looking for like a little cog. And hang on one second. Clear my throat. I was uh, sick a few weeks ago, and uh, it was one of those coughs, and the damn cough is still kind of lingering and tickling the back of my throat because coughs take freaking forever to go away and they suck. So I'm on some cough drops and some extra water. So if you hear a kind of thunk every once in a while, that's me putting my water bottle down because well, cough drops taste better with water. Yeah. So, let's see what we got over here. I don't think any of this is uh, new stuff. Yes, it's all stuff that we've seen, so. That's fine. Now, we gotta find out where. Here we go. The Wheel of Time. Great, we acquired an entire book series. You found the Wheel of Time. Honey, you are just too good at this. So, if I understood that book correctly, the wheel will bring the spirits of lost time to the tower they mentioned. 
But where might this tower be found? No likely candidates spring to mind. Hmm. Hmm? What's the matter, darling? You got an idea where the place we're looking for might be? I thought of something. There's an old tower north of Yggdrasil I always wondered about. Unless anyone's got any better ideas, what say we climb aboard our friendly whale and see what we can see up there? Okay. So don't you think we should take a look at the old tower north of Yggdrasil that Eric told us about? We can use the Calamus flute to cause cetacea and then fly right to it. Yeah, uh, that's the island that we uh, checked out um, a while ago, and there was basically nothing up there except a whole bunch of these little these little blue dudes, and that's where we got to go. And we're gonna find a way to apparently revive Veronica from the dead. Hopefully, she doesn't come back all ghosty and try to, you know, <clears throat> haunt our dreams or anything like that, because. That'd be not great. That'd be not great. Alright, so there's Yggdrasil, and we want to go... They said to the north, so that's like right here, right? Luminary's Landing? No, that's not it. Um, ah, a little further. There we go. I don't know why, but I keep thinking this part is actually in the sky, but apparently it's... On the land, it's just surrounded by mountains, so nobody can get in. But I'm pretty sure somebody has a airship around here somewhere, or a flying mount that could get past it, something like that. Okay. Now, is there any spark? Yeah, there's some sparkly spots, but I don't know if I care about them. I will still, we'll still grab them just because. Sparkly spots are my favorite. Well, this is going to be a reasonably heavy cutscene type of episode, so be prepared for all that. It's really nice because that means I don't have to talk as much and my poor throat can be silenced. <clears throat> now you guys are fucking everywhere. Jeez, it's like an infestation. Alright, all sorts of good stuff over there. Cool rock over there. In the original version of the game, when you you had to manually press A three times to get all the loot out of those things and the the mines. Okay, I don't think we have anywhere else to go except for up here. And look, there is a convenient cog-shaped hole. The door is slightly shut; doesn't appear to have a keyhole. But there is a curiously shaped indentation in the center. Try inserting the wheel of time into the indentation. Yes, I am not ready for the responsibilities of a multi-book series at the moment, sorry. Looks like we found the right tower. I wonder if these spirits have lost time are here already. Come on, laddie. Let's head on in and see what we can see. <clears throat> Wasn't that the little dude over at uh, Erdogan's Lantern? And he was all sad when um, Mordigan destroyed the star or the lantern or whatever it was. He was very sad about that. Okay, it's literally like a giant clock in here. Tick-tock woods, eat your heart out. Or, I'm sorry, uh, tick-tock clock. Or tick-tock clock or click clock woods. or Actually, I guess it is more like tick-tock clock than a click clock woods because click clock woods was a forest setting. And TikTok clock was literally just a giant clock, and this is much more similar to just a giant clock in here. Okay. 
I don't think there's, yeah, there's no sparkly spots. And I think some of the floors might have treasures and stuff, but we'll see, because I forget. Luckily, they have teleport pads to make our life easy, so that's nice. And by teleport, I mean like little flying saucers. Yeah, I thought these teleported you, but I guess not. Any more sparkly spots? Yes, there are, right there. Let's go. And I could have seen it if I just looked for it. Chrono Crystal. Don't tell me that has something to do with time. Uh, apparently, we've had one already, so. Good to know, good to know. Where are you at, my dude? Chrono. Oh, there it is. A crystal created over countless millennia. Okay, so it's just been sitting there for forever. And I think, yeah, we have a couple of places to check out. Let's go try you. I don't think you can move your, yeah, you can't, you can't move your camera while you're on here, so. You can't really look around as much as I'd like. <clears throat> and we can't jump down there. Which is probably pretty good, since that means uh, we couldn't jump back up either way, because we don't have those Michael Jordan hops. I see that treasure chest over there. And over here. Gate of Evolution. Those are pretty rare. Okay, uh... Good for you, Serena. You guys made a promise to be together forever. That's nice. I made a promise to get all the treasure chests. <coughs> Go away, throw. Well, we'll try to revive Ghost... Ghost, uh... Veronica and see what happens there. But, it might not turn out for the best. We'll see. If she does come back, then I'll have to find thumbnails for every video. That doesn't include either her or Hedrick. Try to keep it spoiler spoiler free if anybody looks at the uh, the watch list or the playlist, and if they see a big old picture of Hendrick in there, then uh, they know something's up. A picture of Hendrick with the party, I guess I should say. Now, now we're going up, down, all around, teleporty. I appear to have missed a few things. Oh well. a rather special light here in the tower that can, well, that can bring people back. We've lost someone very special, you see, and, well, we were hoping you might be able to help us. attained. 
But to lose time is to lose much. The path you propose to follow is not one to be trodden lightly. To lose time? What do you mean? Time's sphere is the crystallization of all that has taken place in Erdria since memory began. Each moment gathered by the spirits of lost time, savored, remembered. Take a sword to the sphere would be to erase those moments, to return to the time of the last intact memory. If your companion is to be restored to you, time itself must be destroyed. As I say, to lose time is to lose much. So in order to save Veronica, we would need to turn back time. I think I'm beginning to get the picture. We'd need to go back to... need to go back to before Yggdrasil fell. That way, we could stop Mordigan before it was too late. That wouldn't just save Veronica. It would save the whole of Erdria. Think of all the pain and suffering we could prevent. It is possible. All is possible. It may be that returning to that particular fork in the flow of time brings all that you wish and more. But it must be done. I would gladly give up all that has happened since that day for the chance to change it. Mm -hmm. Aye. Alas. To lose time is to lose much. Only one of you may return to that place. The sphere can be broken but once by a single hand. A hand possessed of a singular power. In this world, only one such power exists. That of the Luminary. I see you. I know you. I knew you the moment you appeared. Only you can break the sphere, and only with the Sword of Light. When it is broken, when the memories are shattered, you will return to the past, and there you will stay. You mean he'll have to live it all again? He can't come back here, to us? To lose time is to lose much. This world, this reality, these will be lost to you. And that is not all. The outcome of the sphere's shattering is impossible to foresee. You may be lost forever, trapped in a corner of time, 
a half faded memory. <gasps> That's awful. Your present, your companions, your life, even all these may be lost to you. Are you willing to risk all for the sake of your departed friend? Only you can decide. I will await you before the sphere. Alrighty here. Um, before I talk to everybody, let's see if we can't go grab that uh, treasure chest that I missed. Because it actually is an important treasure chest, if I remember correctly. I think it has something to do with... Uh, I think it has something to do with like the end game weapons, pretty much. Ah, it's right down there. I just managed to not see it somehow. Fair enough. A uh, hero's book of basic weapons. Nebula swords, darting daggers, asterings, stunning saves, straight pokers, mega gringum whips, dragon lord's claws, and maxi axes. So, let's take a minute to do that real fast. Uh, just pretend we worked out and did this again here real fast. Uh, because these are all basically like the second stage of the next... Uh, they're like the second stage of some of these weapons that have the inability to be reforged to a second level. So, so like for the Nebula Sword here, uh, the Stardust Sword that we currently have, it can't go any further than what it did. But, actually, let me see here. Um, Where are you? Oh, there we go. Yeah. So right now it's currently 96 and 20, 96 stack, 25 charm, and a 10% energy reduction. But when we forge it up, it becomes slightly stronger. It's still not going to be maxed out, and we're not going to be able to max it out for quite some time. But this will get us slightly closer to where we were with it, pretty much. All right, so Nebula Sword, and yeah, we need the Agates of Evolutions for these. Uh, some of them need like the Even Cloths. I think, let's see, for now, let me go ahead and take care of Hendrix, since that might need some stuff. Okay, Densinium, that's fine. So let's do this. Making a Maxi Axe will mean using items that Hendrix currently has equipped. Are you sure? Yes. Uh, and that will pump up the MP and the charm just a little bit more. And yeah, it'll be a solid little upgrade, so let's do that. And I think if we just finish right away, we don't have to do anything with it. I think. Yep. Because we don't have to worry about them going up to plus one or two or three or whatever. Yeah, we can just automatically uh, finish there and we're good to go. And hang on one second. Okay, there was a bug on the wall right there. All right, so I also took a second there to check out uh, a couple of the weapons that we don't have right, right at the moment. So, let's see, off the bat, we do have... The, uh, the Stardust Sword, so we can make the Nebula Sword. Frankly, I'm not gonna. I'm not sure if I want to make this right now, because again, we're gonna have the rest of the game to make these, and we're gonna have to also remake them into all sorts of other stuff. I think most of them have like three or four stages, I think, something like that. So, yeah. So we still have at least two more uh, chunks of upgrades we gotta find, and we gotta find the books for them to make the upgrades and whatnot. So.
Great swords for something in there that we need to worry about. Knives. Um, the Deft Dagger. We don't have that right now. Uh, that is from turning in 65 mini medals. And I think we are... I think we have enough. Or very close to it. I just don't think we actually have gone and turned those in yet. Um, it gives you a little bit of evasion, but... Yeah, they're, they're not too bad, actually. Uh, we'll do this a, a little bit later, so we're fine for right now. Uh, boomerangs, we can make the... Uh, we can make the uh, meter ring into the Asta ring, which would be a decent little upgrade for a be a decent little upgrade for a boomerang thing. So let's do this. And again, don't even bother making it; just you're done. If you want to try to get it up on all the perfects, go for it. But since again, it's not going to go to plus one, two, or three, then it doesn't really matter. So we're good to go. All right, and then wands. We don't have anything to make for the wands except for the uh, Seraph Acceptor, which we're fine without. Uh, heavy wands, uh, the Bright Staff, we don't have. We could have technically got it in this portion of the game. Uh, same with the same with the uh, Beastmaster Claws here. Uh, these are rewards for the third Harma. Uh, Wheel of Harma trial. I think the Dragon Lord Claws, you get them from beating it in 20 turns, and then the the Bright Staff is getting it from 15 turns. But we'll get those a little bit later. Uh, spears, we can make the, uh, the Straight Poker, which can't be blocked or parried. Which is honestly a pretty decent little upgrade for for Jade, really. And the poker we got from the final dungeon, so there's that. Yeah, good stuff right there, and... I think that was basically, oh yeah, the uh, Gringham Whip, uh, which you got from the Octagonia Casino for 750,000 tokens. If I use the whips, that'd be great, but I'm not worried about it. Um, so yeah, that's basically everything right there. We'll get the uh, we'll get the Deft Dagger and the other stuff a little bit later, but for now, I'm not terribly worried about it. As long as you remember to get the, uh, we, we, well, we can actually come back here and get this treasure chest to get the recipe if we miss it later, but that's fine. All right, uh, we have, oh, we're missing like one midi metal. Okay, that's fine. That means I've probably missed a couple mini metals in chests or pots or something somewhere throughout the game. But unlike other Dragon Quest games, mini metals are technically not finite in this version of the game, as there are enemies you can steal them from, and also there is another way of getting them. So we'll get all the mini metals we need eventually. So not terribly worried about it. I don't think there's it. Yeah, we can't do anything on the sides here. But your sister, don't you want your sister back? Jade, what do you have to say? I let you go once and I promised I'd never do it again. Please don't do this. I, I don't want to lose you. Fate seems to have a habit of snatching away those I care about most, but not this time. Save a tired old man more heartache than he can bear, will you? If I lose you too, I, I don't know what I'll do. I'm sorry, Soul, but we simply can't do this. We won't let you. When I cut my hair, Veronica gave me her powers. I vowed that I would let use them to carry on our sacred mission and protect you. If I were to let anything happen to you, she would never forgive me. So I have no choice but to stop you from doing this. Well, we already defeated Morgan, so there's not a whole lot to protect me from right now. So you're good. As far as I'm concerned. Apparently, Eric has uh, not a whole lot to say about it. Yeah, you gotta talk to him after you talk to everybody else. 
I cannot permit you to do this. Curse it all. Why can I not go? Why can I not put a stop to Mordigan? Must I really remain here idle while you risk all for the sake of our fellow companion? Darling, don't you feel you've done enough? I mean, you defeated the Lord of Shadows, didn't you? I don't want to lose anybody else. I don't think I can bear it. Well, you guys all make convincing arguments, but uh, tough. We're going. Have you thought this through, Soul? You heard the timekeeper. If you go back there, that's it. No way home. And there's no guarantee you'll even make it to where you want to go. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. <sighs> okay, okay. You win. We know you well enough by now not to try and talk you out of this. But you'd better not mess this up. You go back there and you save her, you hear? Save us all. Do what you have to do. We won't stand in your way. You know, I don't think we've actually equipped the, uh, <clears throat> or used the Sword of Light the entire time since we've made the damn thing. There we go. It does look pretty cool. Uh, I guess we can make a, uh, put a second one in there. Um, hmm. What sword looks good to go with it? Honestly, the liquid metal sword looks pretty good, too. What else we got? Uh, Miracle Sword looks okay. Miracle Sword looks a bit fancy if I th if I say so. So not really my preferred type. The Stardust Sword which looks pretty good. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. The uh, Stardust Sword will eventually turn into one of the best one-handed swords in the game. So that's fine. Uh, and also let me make sure that I don't have like yeah, I have... Okay, I thought I might have put the other <coughs> swords in my inventory there, but we're good. We are good, man. Okay, now we have uh, two swords in our hands, so we're good to go. These goo. Now we can double shatter the uh, Spear of Light over there. I understand why you want to do this. How could I not? And I can see that your mind is made up, so I suppose I must let you go, much as it pains me. Good luck, soul. We shall miss you. Ho, ho, don't look so down in the mouth, Lottie. You're a big boy now, so chin up. Believe in yourself, for there's nothing you can't do. All I ever wanted was to protect you, Soul. Maybe that's why it's hard for me to imagine you fighting this battle alone. But I know you can do it. I believe in you. We all do. Now go save the world. Okay, Soul, we get it. We know you well enough by now not to try and talk you out of this. But do not mess us up. Go back there and save her, you hear? Save us all. I only wish I could fell Morgan with my own hand. It pains me to leave, you, leave this to you, Soul. But I know that you have the strength to save this world. You are the luminary, and I believe in you. Trust Eric to upstage me like that, honestly, but he's right. His career won't be able to talk you out of this, and I've realized something. I want everybody in the world to be happy, right? So why should all these poor darlings of the past miss out, huh? That just wouldn't be fair. So you go back there and you make them smile, you hear? Every single one of them. I know you can do it, honey. So, yeah, we're going to go back in time and save Veronica, but we're going to be the only ones that remember this. The decision is made. Then you must know all that I know. To lose time will be to lose much. But some semblance of your present self will remain.
possess will be placed within them. Thus, may the items you require journey with you to the past. There is one item that will not survive the journey. The Sword of Light. But you should retain possession of its twin, the Sword of Shadows. This will surely prove to be a more than worthy weapon for the time being. Now you know all that I know. The else is unknowable. When you are ready, join me by the spear. So yeah, we're not going to be able to keep our uh, shiny new sword of light that we made a few episodes ago and that we never used because, well, we just can't. But all of our items will be there. Um, Soul will keep his levels. Everyone else, we're going to have to re-level up. So that's going to kind of suck, but we're going to have to worry about that. And you remember way back in the uh, early part of the game, towards the end of Act 1, where I said, hey, we're going to duplicate some items. This is where that's going to finally come into play. We're going to get those items back. Cause yeah. Okay, I thought you guys had other stuff to say. No? Yeah, we're gonna get those items back, because let's see, we currently have let's just let's just as an example say we currently have uh, four seeds of life. So with all those seeds of life that we duplicated earlier, we're gonna have those. Seeds of skills, we're gonna have more of those. So Sadly, we don't get as many. I, uh, in, the, in this version of the game, there, you're, it's easier to actually farm the uh, seeds because the Tickington stuff uh, makes it so you can just go back and replay from certain parts of the game and you can recollect all the treasures and stuff and get more seeds like that. But they also made, uh, for this version of the game, way late in the game, uh, super seeds that increase the stats by even more. So, yeah, maxing out your stats in this in this version of the game is much easier than in the original version. If you climb these steps, there's no going back. Are you sure you want to return to the past? Yes. Are you absolutely certain? Yes. Step forward, Luminary, and into the past. Wait! <gasps> when you meet me in the past, we will be enemies again. But know this. I stand ready to pledge myself to your cause once more. To be your sword, your shield, your unswerving companion. <laughs> yes, yes, very dramatic, Hendrik, honey. Now, if you've quite finished frowning and swearing oaths... Farewell, darling. I look forward to seeing you... in the past. I know you can do this. I know you won't let anything stand in your way. And the us's of the past will be there for you whenever you need us. Now, if I know your grandfather, He'll have a few words to say before you go. <laughs> You've grown into a fine figure of a man, laddie. Oh, don't look down now. We'll only be apart a wee while. We're back there waiting for you after all. You'll do as proud. I know you will. How could you not do? You're my own flesh and blood after all. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? I... I suppose I began this journey with you, feeling that I was simply doing my duty. 
but it became so much more than that. I'll never forget the time we've spent together. So please, <laughs> if you don't mind, I hope you'll take me along with you all over again. Hmm. Time of departure is upon us. Luminary, take the sword of light in hand. Goodbye. Not by a long shot. See you on the other side. But I know one thing, we're going to stop him. You must defeat him. The fate of our world depends upon it. Good luck. Good luck. Record your activities in the adventure log? Yes, why not? Okay, and you know what? That's going to do it for this episode. Next time, we'll go see if this actually worked or not. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.